Nice. Look at that. That is dice. Well, I missed the. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is it? Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to more Seven Days to Die Alpha 19. We're gonna start a new series, and this one is about restoring Navisgain, or at least a town in Navisgain. So this series is gonna be running alongside the existing series. It's not replacing it, and the reason it's a separate series is because you guys asked for more building, and you missed all the big builds, the lighthouse builds. In the current series, the 60 minute days, loads of zombies, big horde nights, it's not really made for that. We're using POIs in there for a reason, you know, that we just um, change a little bit the POIs and try to figure out if we can survive in them and then we restart the series you know and maybe do it also permadeath but that's its own thing now this one here we want to try to rebuild civilization as such or rebuild a town at least and see how we get on and see if we can do it last time we did it was alpha 16 i believe where we did like a wasteland town and it was a lot of fun we had like a huge apartment block we started rebuilding it and making the rooms nice and it was it was really really nice but let's try do it again and see if it works out. We're gonna be playing in survival. So we're gonna be playing warrior, 120 minute days because it's gonna be about building, always running zombies. It's gonna have all the default settings, eight enemies per horde night only because we are going to build our own horde base. And once we feel more comfortable, we can opt that as well. Now to start this series, it's gonna be a couple of episodes pre-recorded. The first ones, because we're gonna be streaming this right now after this intro, I'm gonna be sending out the notification and we're gonna start streaming the start of this because it helps me a lot as well to have people live there, you know, guiding a little bit, saying like, listen, this is a good idea. Idea, this is a bad idea this won't work this will work and we can use that to direct our series to be better you know and more entertaining hopefully so let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'm looking forward to your input as well i hope you guys are gonna have a good time with the episode so let's get started a brand new world after all and as i said earlier to the guys on youtube to you um this is gonna be streamed so if this goes well we're gonna future uh, stream future episodes as well on you on on twitch and break down the videos from there as i record the streams and um, yeah, so if you want to join one of the streams, just follow me on Twitch, please. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash games for cakes. So we're starting off very easy. I never played a Navis game since. I haven't played a Navis game since Alpha 16, I believe. Alpha 17 or the unspoken Alpha, as I like to call it, maybe a little bit. And that was it. Okay, it's starting well. Now we have everything default on loot, so we shouldn't go. Whoa. We shouldn't get any um, Uber loot or anything, but um, let's see if we get... Oh, there's already something over there. Where are we actually on the map? I don't know the Navaskin map. So on the south here, we have Wasteland, I believe, or Burnt by and whatever it is. So it looks green here. So hopefully we're going to be getting our first trader in the green biome. That would be pretty, pretty amazing. What do we have here? Oh, look at that. The first thing we loot is going to be Automatic Weapon Handbook. Okay, pinch don't flinch. Use this technique to walk your fire into the target when firing automatic weapons. Fully automatic fire is more accurate with each shot fired. Oh, that is amazing. So you just hold down that button and off you go. That is pretty sweet. So let's uh, burn down the actual starter quests and start with that. And done. Locate the trader. Trader is this way. Hopefully it's in the green area. That would be nice. But we're going to follow down the road. We're going to destroy some more uh, some more stones along the way. As you can see, it's only 9.02. So we are doing well on time because we are playing 120 minutes. We might actually loot this first house here. Why not? And our first point. So what I was thinking is either way, because we're doing building, we're going to have to go a little bit into strength. But I don't want to go necessarily... If I would go in a strength build, I'd go Skull Crusher. But I don't want to really go into a strength build. I really would love to focus on Archer... And yeah, Archer would be nice. I actually would love to focus on that. But at the same time, we're going to have to spend some points on strength. For now, I will definitely go into um, Sexy Saurus. We'll definitely go into that. And I'm not going to spend any points on any combat stuff in this tray. And we're going to go for 1 minus 69. I'm going to go and try to go with a. Um, this build here and we're going to try to take zombies head off um, with arrows and then we spend the rest on the points in strength some early meat and feathers okay that's it we're gonna smash it kill it with fire oh you little bastard i thought you were dead oh yes beautiful did we just run into a group of zombies is that what the chicken was good for there we go and get my arrows back very nice Beautiful. And we also, I think the same build for the arrows also is very good for knives, which would be really, really good for getting more resources, I think, when you cut them down. I don't know. 
I think that's how it works. I'm not 100% sure. Let's check out this house here. Oh, oh, where did somebody wake up? There we go, starting well, missing already. Okay, he's down. Wow, that's a lot of arrows. We definitely need to get some more points into that. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't really matter if there's anything behind um, a safe or anything. Okay, lucky. There was nobody in there. Very good. In case we get lacerations, let's actually get a little bit of leather. Let's have a look in here. What is it? What do you feel? Washroom. Okay. Very good. Oh, we have some classes. Oh, perception classes, is it? Let me see. Ah, I keep pressing I because of grounded. Um, what do we have here? Oh, intellect. That's that's what. We, no, no, we don't play intellect. Okay, let's have a look through. The, what is here? That's just the back door. So let's have a look in the kitchen. We're gonna leave these standing here. We don't have a wrench. Um, free wood, of course. Let's pick up all the chairs. Nice. And food. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Anything here behind? No. Microwave. All right. Okay. That was short and sweet. There's nothing else in. And there's no... Oh, there is an upstairs. I completely forgot about that. We're already incorporated. Yes. We're going to have to deal with our encumbrance as well. We're making pockets. I think we can already make one. We just need some duct tape. Um, I don't need cornmeal right now, and at the moment I will just eat all the food I find, but I will keep the cans. You guys were saying before that I should keep the cans, so we are going to keep them for now. Yeah, we're gonna keep the resources as much. I mean, it's a builder series, so... Let's see. Oh yeah, hang on. We have to do that so we can sneak in. Oh, there's no zombie in here. Oh, I thought it was a zombie. I was like, is that the new naked zombie? <laughs> they took all his clothes just before, just before he turned into a zombie. Oh, nice. That is a good amount of wood. Very good. And there we go. We got to uh, take these guys as well because plastic and paper is very important in the beginning because I want to make shotgun. I don't want to focus on shotgun, but um, yeah, we got to keep paper. Paper is important. End of story. We're going to have to... What do I get from this? Oh, it's plastic, of course. Okay, makes sense. So there's nothing else here. No zombies. Very good. Oh, a safe. Yeah, we're not going to be cracking that right now. So let's... Oh, we have a zombie coming in, I think. So let's just quickly do the bed. And the, take the medicine. There we go. Oh, a jacket. Can we wear that? Um. Yeah, we're going to scrap that instead. There we go. Nice. Let's take the leather so we can work on forges as well. And let's see what we have in the bookcase. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yes, we're going to blow ourselves up. That's going to be mission number one. Very good. And let's repair. Also, if you want straight away to get... Um, I don't need this actually in the beginning. If you want straight away to get some cheap clay, you pick up all the flower pots. They give you clay when you destroy them, which is really, really handy. And they stack as well, I think, really nicely, the flower pots. I'm a bit worried about the guys coming in from downstairs, but we'll see. Okay. Where are they? Oh. <laughs> Very good. Why did we get more experience? Why did we get 400? That is awesome. 454, why is that? Is that because of the glasses? I think it's because of the glasses. XP game plus 10%, oh nice, okay. I thought it was only the um, intel, inter, intellect. All right, let's head down towards the trader.
National Forest, Navisgain. Are you literally bringing me into the burnt biome? No, you're not. This is borderline burnt biome. Oh, please. This is gonna be very, ooh. See, I don't know the Navisgain map as well yet. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. Die, you traitor. Oh, okay. There we go. Nice. <laughs> We're getting a little bit of food. We're actually doing more damage already because of the points we put into agility, I think. There we go. We got some food, get some feathers. Very nice. Let's go. I thought this was a bug, but they look very metallic. They don't even look like white, white. They look, they actually look like the reflection in the shadow is completely inverted or something. It's it's like when you do an, an inversion or something in Photoshop. That looks really weird. Yeah, th that I don't know. That that has to be a visual bug on the on the on the on the game side. Oh, nice corn. I don't know why people hate corn. I know Clock hates corn for some reason. I have no idea. He keeps complaining about when he finds it. <laughs> I find it really nice. And it's actually one of the um, beginnings. I mean, cornbread, once you make cornbread, you can use the cornbread actually in one of the early game recipes as well. So it's not bad at all. Um, but yeah, it's, and it stacks nicely as well. Oh, look at that. Um, actually, we're already able to craft one, so we don't need this one. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see what we have in our trade. Oh, wow. That is a nice find. Beautiful. Um, we don't need that actually right now. Um, let's see what we have here. Um, anything else up here to loot? We have no light yet. Um, we could, I suppose, put this one here temporarily and just walk around with that. That's nice. Okay. And I don't think there's any loot up there, is there? No. Okay, let's get back down. Is there a quick way down? I think so, yeah. Here we go. Oh, look at that. There's a stag as well. Nice. Okay, so let's see what we have in the cement mixer. Okay, we have a bit of cement. We're starting to already um, having issues with space. Let's see if that is a working forge. It is a working forge. Nice, okay. And then we have the chemi station as well here somewhere, isn't it? Let's see what we have in here. Oh, wow, what is that? Oh, look at that. Knuckle weapons. Deal 10% more damage with fists. That's great because we found these knuckle wraps. I'm not going to go down the tray, but we found the knuckle wraps and do an extra damage now. Why not? That's not a bad thing. Oh, yeah, we already saw the uh, chemi station. It was right here where we had the cornmeal in. So let's have a look. Let's see what our friend has. Ah, Trader Jen, how are you? I've got the best oh, selection of medicine in the wasteland. Well, I'm sure you do. Okay, so um, let's see your inventory first. Oh, look at that. Are you kidding me? That is absolutely insane. We definitely have to see if we can um, do some quests for you before day four. That is amazing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at them. Two. That's like six extra fields right off the bat. Let's have a look at the jobs she has. Uh, clear zombie quest one kilometer away. That one could be near town, I suppose. And here's a clear zombie quest west. Oh, that's very close. I think I've... Okay. Okay, I don't be think this is going to be in a town. Okay. But again, um, the idea is that this obviously is a series where we're going to rebuild a town. So if we cannot find a town um, in the first two episodes, what we might do is we're just going to turn on debug mode and look at the actual full map. And see where the ah, and see where the town is. All right, there was a good, good old-fashioned mix of howdy doody handcrafted punches and a little bit of arrows. Very nice. Yeah, he's a very fast one. All right. So let's try out the hammer, actually, um, if we can. Where's... Oh, there we go. There's the zombie. We only have one point in strengths, but three hits and boom, a right-click dead. That's not bad. 
I mean, the left click is um, obviously a little bit better. Oh, we got some nice... Um, there we go. Let's reset. Let's see if we get more. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I love it. Usually I don't do the reset looting because, well, we don't really need to, you know. It, it just makes the looting too, too long. But that was really good. I like that. <laughs> okay, get some money. Don't need... Um, well... Gonna cut, get, get as resources as early as possible, I suppose. Oh, nice. What do we have here? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Hello, my friend. Oh, glancing blow. Can you believe it? Come on, come to me here. Come over the spikes. Thank you. Oh, I, I didn't get the experience. Shidam. Okay, I'm just worried about any fly. Oh. Wow, yes, baby. Oh, even though we're not playing the strength build, having that one point in strength for, um, and sexy Saurus is actually not bad. Um, are we going to pack mule? Actually, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to straight away put a point into Daring Adventurer. End of story. Okay, uh, get an additional choice for quests. It's going to be worth it. And quest rewards are 5% more tukes. I think that is really, really important. <laughs> Daring Adventurer. Let's see what we get. Okay. There's nothing around here. We're going to pick all that up here in a second. And what do we can find in the truck? Let me have a look. Oh, a level two. Okay. I don't know if I want to keep that. I, I'm pretty happy with the stone hammer, but we can try this one out instead. I mean, now is the time to experiment around with things. Why not? And that's it. So let's go upstairs. Oh, there's one more pile here. Very good. And there's another pile here. Oh, we already got that one. So let's go up here and check the top out. How do we get up here? Okay, a little bit of jumping. J ah, jin jin. Yay! <laughs> oh my lord! How are you supposed to be? Okay. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. I don't actually want to fight anything up here, to be honest. Okay. Shh. Hello? Shh, somebody's asleep. Somebody asleep? Okay. funny he was like drunk Whew, boom hit his head on the actual side that's why he died oh, he gotta hit off he gotta hit off fair play let's see what we get oh yes now we're cooking with diesel, baby. Or oh, now we're sucking diesel. That's the expression. Look at that. Beautiful. We're going to keep that, baby. We're going to eat a little bit because we're short. I know some of them are for recipes, but right now I do not care. Um, I'm going to keep that. Put that over here. Beautiful. Let's eat that as well. Oh, yes. Now, now we're talking. Okay, so. We have 11. We have paper. We're going to get um, gunpowder and we're going to make a lot of ammunition. So right now, this is what we're doing. Let's make sure we're loaded, baby. Okay, let's stay, let's stay kneeled down and open up here on the side. Oh, is there another one maybe here in the back? Okay, let's open the side of the house here. Oh, I can see you. 
I can see you. Hello? Did we miss him? Whoa. Is there two zombies in there? Oh, there's two in there. Awesome. Get your kneecaps, baby. There you go. Right in the head. Is there somebody down there? Hello? Okay, let's get in there and get our rewards. That's it. We cleared it. Love it. That was awesome. Finding that blunderbuss was just beautiful. There actually was an open window here. You guys are so dumb sometimes. <laughs> I'm glad they're dumb. I'm absolutely happy they're dumb. Okay, what do we get? Nothing. Um, let's scrap that for iron, which is very good. A turret would be actually very nice. Oh, yes. Do we get some special water? Oh, beautiful. Drink that right away. Get some more chairs and stone arrows. Food. Nice. Oh, that's very good food, actually. And what do we get? <laughs> I thought it was another two blunderbussies. Um, okay, we're gonna actually sell these. I'm gonna wear the padded chest armor though. That's gonna be awesome. And more blunderbuss armor. That is amazing. And we can't repair any of that. We're just gonna sell it. I'm not gonna wear that armor. It's gonna be too movement restricting. And playing on warrior, I just rather not get hit at all than getting hit for less. Oh, look at that. You're getting straight away a full set. Like it's so tempting though, isn't it? And how do we repair that? We need. Do we repair kit for that as well? We do, yeah. All right, okay. Is that it? Let's get some more resources here from the bed. And I think that pretty much is it in this room. So the guys on uh, on stream actually were very good and they were telling me that in Naviskane right over here to the northeast is a town. We could see some houses actually through the gaps, which is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to that town either way, which also means it's in the green biome, which is great. And that would be a very nice start because, I mean, I don't mind really the challenge of building anywhere, but building in the green biome, it looks nicer. It's just the way it is, yeah? And it would be very nice to start rebuilding some stuff there. Now, of course, um, as I said earlier to the guys in stream, rebuilding in the beginning means we have cheaper materials. We can't build everything with concrete and then paint it. So we will paint, do a lot of paint jobs later, but we will start with the houses around the one we're gonna be living. So- Here's your pay for a job well done. Oh no, I exit Here's out. There we go, excellent. Well okay, improved fitting mod schematic. That would be very good actually from the start, but we don't really need it right now. So I think ammunition would be very good. That would be very good right now. And we sh that's also a lot of money in case we're short in buying something. So let's um, go here. Let's see if you have a job northeast. Mm, you don't, you have one northwest. Which I suppose is okay. It's a buried supply quest, but we are going to go like northeast to um, gonna get our up. POI. Then I also want to see if we make enough money now. Yes, we can buy one of those triple mods. Very good. We're gonna sell these guys here, and we're gonna sell all of this. We're gonna sell the money, and we're still short. I'm actually really tempted of selling the ammunition for another triple pocket mod. But since she has it until day four, I think we're okay. Now let's see if you have any glue. No. Do you have any duct tape? Nope. Do you have any powder? Yes, you do. Now we're gonna buy the gunpowder then. That allows us to make more ammunition. There you go. Excellent. And now we can put more... Um, oh yeah, I forgot to actually sell that. There we go. And 412. We're still shy. Okay, so let's put some food on if we can. And... Um, we're gonna get one point in Master Chef so we can make that bacon eggs. And we're gonna head over to the town to have a look. I completely forgot we have a working fortune here. 
the and I need things like a cocking pot. So we're going to put these two things in here, put a little bit of fire in and turn it on. There you go. Look at that. And what do we need for a cooking pot and a grill? So here we go. We can actually make that very quickly. That is awesome. It only needs a little bit of clay. So once we have 12 clay, we can go into double um, iron. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's take that out, go into double iron, and then we're going to be able to craft this very, very quickly. Oh, it's so handy to have that here by the trader. And we're not going to live by the trader, but I just made a couple of chests near the trader so we can just dump stuff there quickly. And, you know, we're free to roam around. This is awesome. Excellent. And then the next one we're going to do is the grill. And there you go. We can actually cook some normal food. All right, we have the... Yes, we have the cooking pot and we have the grill now. We made a couple of eggs. We ate up. We filled up. I think we can make it before night time into the first POI. And that is probably where we're going to leave the first episode then. And then we're going to continue streaming and going to hopefully get another episode or two done. Um, that would be really good. So for the guys watching on YouTube, this is pre-recorded. And if this goes well, we're going to make these streams because there's a lot of grinding to cut out. I mean, I think we're playing now for... Um, two hours nearly but this will be about a 30 minute episode yeah because there's so much to cut out on walking and grinding that um and later the building we're gonna see how we're gonna do it i'm not really sure how i'm gonna edit that together we're gonna do probably a mixture between time lapses with music where you're just gonna see the building a little bit like we used to do in alpha 16 and doing some of the quick placement um edits um we did more recently this is an awesome building for loot holy crap it's the working tool stiffy nice Oh, wow. Okay. This is awesome. I'm not going to go in there now. Oh, this is a bit... This actually looks nearly identical to the Shotgun Messiah version of this, which we looted in our other series. And somebody said in the comments, it's not actually that great for loot. Well, this is awesome, this type of loot. But it's not. it doesn't have a main loot um, room or something, the Shotgun Messiah version. So I wonder if this one has. Anyway, we're not going to go in there right now. So we're going to put um, a quick a wave point here, save wave point, and it's the um, the working stiffy. Ah, you can't fit. It's a working stiffy. There you go. Because you can't fit as many letters in, so you're gonna have to mark it. Oh, hello. How are you, my friend? We're gonna switch over to knifey knife very soon. There was two right clicks. Boom! In the face. Okay, another right click. Bam! There you go. So that's very good. I like that. Club, very good in the beginning. We're still not going to spec into it. So we have a bread roll. So we can actually go and stay in a POI. Let's get this car looted here first. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, arrows. Arrows, arrows. Stone arrows. Why can I not make stone arrows? What am I missing? Wood. I left my wood at home. Never leave without wood. It's not going to make a lot of people happy. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, nice. I love it. Yes. Oh, I love that even more. Oh, hang on. Cold resist, heat resist. Yeah, we don't need cold resist here, but I'm going to keep this because that's a very good uh, heat resist um, jacket or cold resist jacket. So if we have to go into the uh, snow biome, that's that's the way to go. All right. And um, we're going to do the buried treasure quest after probably on the next morning i mean nights are very long that's why i kind of like the idea of being able to go out at night and beat the zombies you know so because if you have long nights you want to be able to go out i think nice look at that that is nice well i missed the hang on hang on hang on is it yes so let's have a look around and see what would be good on um oh can we loot this no on a poi where we can start living and uh, like i said i would like to live somewhere close to the edges here because living inside, I can just imagine the lag is going to be insane. And also, if zombies attack or, or a roaming horde attack, I don't want to get too much in trouble. So somebody suggested the burning building here for us to start living in. That would be a very good start rebuild. I actually would like that. There's so much to clean up and we have we can put our bed right here. Actually, that bed looks like we could leave it in here, to be honest. Now, we're not going to spawn anything in. Um, well, it depends. I, I would not like to spawn anything in on deco, on decor, 
But if there is, if we get to a point where the series is doing well and people actually enjoy watching it, what we might do is we might agree that we spawn in certain decorative items yeah, from the creative menu. But we'll see. I would like to not do that and craft everything, definitely. But anything we can't ever craft, it would be good. So this would be an insane rebuild to start with our house. We could actually do this while we look at other POIs to rebuild, I think. That would be amazing. Or we just start with this. It's not a bad idea, actually. I think that... Look at that. We have to... Oh, there's so much to rebuild. It's actually really, really nice. Okay. I don't know what the roof would look like, though, on this. We have a little bit of a roof here, so it gives us a little bit of a direction. Okay, let's go up here and just put our bed... Oh, there's somebody already here. Somebody's already living here. No! Sorry! Okay, I'm gonna rent the room to him, but only for... Okay, you can you can stay here in this room, okay? <laughs> okay. I think we're gonna put our bed... Oh, crap, this is too low. We have to put it over there. This is, this is just the best way. Yeah, it has to be up high. So let's put our bed here. And then we can rebuild this. We don't need the mattress here. I hope it's not a load-bearing. Please don't be a load-bearing mattress. Okay, good. There you go. Done. Let's make a chest so we can dump some stuff in. And this is how it starts. I'm going to start building up. Oh, man. This is going to be a task and a half. So for the first episode, we're going to leave it here. I'm recording the outros in hindsight because obviously during the stream, we're not going to do the intros and outros. So um, we're just going to go and continue streaming. But we had a five-hour stream. It was absolutely fantastic. I hope you guys who couldn't make it this time can make it next time. We're probably going to stream this again, depending how well it's going to be doing, of course, and uh, if there's interest or not. But um, we found Dyer's as well, which was great. And thank you for picking this house. I mean, it is a DIY job and a half. So it's going to be a good test to see if I even can manage to rebuild anything. Because that's the thing. I, I, don't ha I haven't rebuilt anything in a long time. And it's a challenge. It's going to be one. So, I mean, I'm assuming you you guys are going to leave uh, very helpful co comments as you always do so i'm looking forward to reading them but for now we're going to leave this episode here thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope to see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time until then as always huge pass and happy gaming